A while ago, I renovated our living room, building a custom surround for the fireplace with shiplap and a custom mantle. Since then, we upgraded the TV to one that fit the space a little better, and more recently purchased a real couch to seat more than two people. The boss lady likes to have several blankets at the ready for all of her couch potato needs. The blankets need a good place to go when not in use, so I'm gonna build a ladder to go on the wall next to the mantle to store the blankets. It'll have a combination of metal and wood, and tie into the look of the mantle. I scanned the wall for studs, made a plan, and got to work. I purchased all the metal needed. This is 3 quarter inch black pipe. This ladder will have four rungs and attached to the wall at four points. Here's a list of the metal I purchased. Four 18 inch long pipes, four 90 degree elbows, four floor flanges, four caps, four four inch nipples. I'm not making that up, that's what they're called eight one-inch nipples, and eight couplers. All these pieces will make up the four rungs of the ladder. I'll show you how it all goes together during assembly. But first, all these need to be painted. They're not all the same color black. Some have marks or scuffs, so painting them makes them all look uniform. First, I coated them with two coats of gloss enamel, making sure to get some coverage on the surfaces facing down on the tarp. Then I came back and sprayed a few coats of gloss black paint for the finish. Since this will go right next to the living room mantle, I wanted to have a similar look. That means using the same birch wood. I picked up a couple of 1x3s, then measured and marked holes for the rungs. The first hole will be 2 inches from the end. Then they'll be spaced out 12 inches apart. So from one end, the holes will be at 12, 14, 26, and 38 inches with the other end being at 40 inches. The metal bit that needs to go through the wood is just over an inch in diameter, so I used a 1 and 1 8 inch spade to make the holes. I punched through most of the way, then flipped the wood to finish it from the other side. This makes the edges of the holes much cleaner. I used some sandpaper to clean up any frays from the spade. Before final sanding, I cut the boards to length, 40 inches long. Both boards were already quite smooth, but just to be sure, I used an orbital sander with 320 grit. I sanded off any sticker labels on the wood and softened the sharp corners. Before staining, I need to make sure there's no dust on the wood, especially this stuff because 320 grit sandpaper makes really fine dust. In addition to the vacuum, I used an air hose to blow away anything extra. Then I laid out some clean paper for the staining. Just like the mantle, I'm using this dark walnut color to stain the birch. I applied it with a foam brush, let it sit for a few minutes, then wiped it off with paper towels. I did one side and all the edges first then gave it a few hours to let it cure. Once that sat long enough, I flipped it over to stain the last side. Then I let this sit overnight. The last thing to do for the wood is to apply a clear coat of polyurethane. This is a semi-gloss sheen. It needs to have multiple coats. It was applied to one side and the edges, then sat for a couple hours before getting the second coat. Once those two coats had several hours to cure, I flipped it and applied the last two coats on the other side. All these coats were done over the span of one day. I let the polyurethane cure overnight, and then it was time to assemble it all. There's definitely a correct order to put it together, and it took a little trial and error to get it right. Essentially, it's better to work from the center of the ladder outwards. The centers are the same for all the rungs. The 18 inch long pipes have couplings on the ends. Then the one inch nipples attach to the couplings and go through the wood. For the middle two rungs, caps attach and tighten down on the wood. For the top and bottom rungs, 90 degree elbows attach, then the four inch pieces, then the flanges. I used a pipe wrench in a few places to make sure it was all tightened down, 
being very careful not to scrape the paint. Time to put this thing up on the wall. I rescanned and marked the studs. Unfortunately, the only stud I'll be able to use is on the right side. The left side will just have to screw into the drywall. The space is 31 and a half inches wide, and the ladder is 28 inches wide. So to center it, it'll be one and three quarter inches from either edge. I had the boss lady take a look, and we decided it would be best if the top of the wood lined up with the top of the mantle. I made some marks, and started driving in some screws. I thought that I'd have to spray paint some screw heads black, but it turns out regular drywall screws worked great. I used longer screws on the right side to reach the stud, and on the left, I used shorter screws to cinch into the drywall. Because of the one stud, this is really secure, but probably not strong enough to climb. And just like that, this project is done. It looks great up on the wall and meshes well with the rest of the living room. I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. It was a relatively quick process, mostly just waiting for paint and stuff to dry. It's off the floor, so it's out of the way, and it'll be a great place to store the blankets when they're not in use. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Oh, boss lady. <laughs> Not really on camera, am I? No, just stand behind it. It definitely saw me walk in. I'll cut it out. Okay.